Hey, what's up guys? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your device from iOS 12, the official build, or iOS 12, beta 1, whatever you're running, down to iOS 11.4.1, while it's still being signed by Apple. Because as you guys know, there have been some major advancements in the iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 jailbreak scene. We may be getting a jailbreak for those firmwares sooner than later. So to get this video started, check the first link down below in the description of this video. You'll find everything you need to know, all the download links, as well as a written tutorial there. So while we're here on our iPhone, again, like I said, it's running iOS 12.1 beta 1. This tutorial also works if you're running just iOS 12 and want to downgrade back to iOS 11.4.1. Now, like I said, this will only work if 11.4.1 is still being signed by Apple, so it is pretty urgent. If you want to do this, do it now before it's too late. So while we're here on our iPhone, the only thing we really need to do is connect it to our computer via a standard lightning to USB connection. I'm just plugging it in right here via my dock, and it looks like it's connected. The very last thing we need to do is disable Find My iPhone, so we can do that by heading into the Settings app, clicking on our iCloud username, then clicking iCloud, and then navigating to Find My iPhone, going into that tab and deselecting, and deselecting Find My iPhone, enter your password, and then the service should now be disabled. And I've already plugged this phone into my computer, so it's all trusted and all of that, but if you get a prompt, notifying you to trust the connection, just go ahead and click trust. Do the same on the computer side, and I'll meet you right over there. All right, so once we're on the computer side of things, like I said, just make sure your phone appears in iTunes and that you've trusted the connection, and it shows up just like it does right here. Again, you can access it with this little button up here in the top left, but just make sure it shows up and you have the restore options right here. Okay, the only thing we need to download is from this site. Like I said, it will be the first link in the description of the video. Just go ahead and select your device right here. I'm restoring an iPhone, and then you can scroll down once more and select the version of your iPhone as well, this case being an iPhone 10. Now, at the very top, you can see the currently signed IPSWs being iOS 12.0, the official build, as well as iOS 11.4.1 .1 as of recording this video. Now again, for beginner's sake, you cannot downgrade to an unsigned version and iOS 11.4.1 .1 will be joining this list sooner than later. Furthermore, if you have an iPhone XS or XS Max, as you guys will see, only iOS 12.0 is available. That is the firmware that it's shipped with. These cannot run iOS 11. So unfortunately, you can't downgrade these phones to a version of iOS 11 only the iPhone 10 or below. All right, so let's get into this video. Like I said, just go ahead and select your phone, select your model, and then select the IPSW that you want to download and click download. All right, so once the firmware has downloaded, here is the file right here. Again, we're within iTunes. All we have to do is use the restore option or check for updates button if you want to save your data. Again, even if you back up your phone on iOS 12, you won't be able to restore it on iOS 11.4.1. .1. But again, if you're looking to jailbreak, I would highly suggest just to restore the iPhone and set it up from scratch. So again, the only button we need to press, it's Option on a Mac, or I believe it's Shift on a Windows-based PC. While holding Option again, now we can click the Restore iPhone button, select our IPSW, again, mine is right here on the desktop, click Open, and then click Restore. And now the restore process is beginning. It says extracting software here at the top. Now I'll be right back once it finishes, but that is pretty much it, guys. That is essentially the entire tutorial. Again, like I said, check the link down below in the description of this video for the links to this IPSW file. That is really the only thing you need to do. Have your iTunes updated to the latest version, and you should be good to go. Again, like I was saying earlier, the only thing I'd really suggest if you're downgrading to jailbreak, I would highly suggest to set it up as a new iPhone. Do not restore from a backup, and I would not use the check for updates button to keep your data. You want your iOS version to be as clean as possible if you're looking to jailbreak, so just don't restore from a backup. 
you can obviously sign into your iCloud and stuff like that. But there we have it, guys. The iPhone is restored. We are back on iOS 11.4.1. I'm just going to go to the settings app, go to about. And as you guys can see, there we are, 11.4.1. So anyway, pretty easy process. I just wanted to do a video today more so reminding everybody to do this before it's too late. Anyway, guys, I hope this quick video helped out today. If it did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you want to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news when new utilities, when new exploits are released. We will be the first to notify you on any major updates. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.